Hey Aries, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, this is 7D Tarot. Aries, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will use Oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe. All right, so let's dive right in. See what we got going on, right? Significant improvements, changes, opportunities. The universe wants you to know you're on the path of success. Right now, victory is close by. Right now, the last piece of your puzzle is admitting, inviting, welcoming the fact that you are a magnet and that you attract what you emit. And this is so powerful because the better you feel, the more you allow. The better you feel, the more you allow. That's it. This is it. Once you do this, you got everything you're looking for. This is going to make your life so much more effortless. You want to meet your soulmate. You want to get some money. You want to be able to travel. It's all there. But you can't tell yourself, I will be happy when that happens. You got to say, all right, listen, I'm playing a game. I am fully aware that this universe is all about abundance, right? You are fully aware the universe will provide. But in order to play this game and win, what you got to do is you have to play by the rules. Like for example, the law of gravity. You don't just can't climb a tree and jump off because you'll hurt yourself. You play by the law. By, play by the law. Law of traffic, right? You're not going to run a red light, right? If you won't run a red light, then definitely play by the law of attraction. Law of attraction states that you don't have the luxury of feeling bad to attract good. In order to attract good, you have to feel good to get it. So this really is the cart before the horse, right? You have to celebrate the victory before it happens. This trick right here is where it's at and your angels and guides are telling you right now that you have to get in alignment. Alignment ex trumps execution. Alignment trumps execution. The universe will gladly rearrange itself to match your beliefs when you are in alignment, right? So a lot of times things happen and us humans, what happens is we don't like it and we're like, I, I want to get the heck out of this. So I'm going to do something to get out of this energy. Now, the thing is, is usually we make a decision when we're in a fearful state. That fearful state means low frequency. Low frequency does not attract a, how, a high outcome ever. So what does that mean? When something happens, immediately what I tell myself is, listen, am I in a high frequency or am I in a low frequency? This is the question you got to ask yourself. So someone sends you a hasty text message. Your boss says something you don't like. You know, you are waiting, waiting, waiting for something. Now, before you make a decision, ask yourself, am I in a high frequency or low frequency? This will determine your next step. If you're in a high frequency, like you're like, I feel good right now take your next, uh, the step you want to take. If you're like, I don't feel good, I'm in a low frequency, great, we got to get you out of that frequency first, claim your independence, and then we're rocking it. So this is why it's so important right now to A, be aware of this, right? Am I in a high frequency or low frequency? If you're in a low frequency, it means you got to get in alignment. Alignment means honoring your soul, anything your soul wants. So for example, what time does your soul want you to wake up? What does your soul want you to eat? Who, what shows does your soul want you to watch? You know, what thoughts does your soul want you to have? You know the answers to that, right? Exactly. That is you getting in alignment. So for me, I know that I have to take action steps to get myself out of the fear pit, such as eating healthy foods, that right decision, or going to the gym, or learning something, or giving compliments to people, being kind to my wife, right? Extra, extra nice. Anything. Get some good brownie points from the universe. If you do any of the things that are honoring your soul, you are going to get brownie points and the universe is going to give you what you're looking for. Oversimplified version, but it's the God's honest truth and you know it too and that's the best part. Beautiful part is your ball's in your court. Source is telling you right now, Feel good first and your manifestation will follow. So feel good first and your manifestation will follow. So from this point on, never, ever, ever make a decision unless you ask yourself, am I in a high frequency or low frequency? If you're in a low frequency, do something to get in a high frequency to get a high outcome, then make your decision. If you're not in a high frequency and this hasn't worked yet, sleep on it, collect data and make your decision tomorrow. But never, ever, ever force your reality because it won't work don't force nothing. You have to take possession. Forcing has never worked in the history of time. And right now, source is telling you that it's not going to start working right now either. So the universe is telling you right now to really start tapping into your dreams. Really, if you want to make things happen right now, understand that make your dreams real by 
visualizing, manifesting, daydreaming, focusing your energy into this. Make your dreams real by understanding that you hold all the cards. You are a magnet. You got to reclaim your power at the end of the day. And that's what Source is telling you right now. In order for things to change, you have to reclaim your power, which is your point of attraction, which is really your thoughts and awareness. And by doing so, all these synchronized opportunities that are your birthright are going to be making their way very, very soon. So what does this mean? Execution is trumped by alignment. Alignment first and knowledge se uh, 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 action second, right? And the universe is telling you right now, be aware that you are a magnet. Be aware that you have very powerful energy. And also be, look be on the lookout for traps. Because I do see here that there are lessons being brought to you and the universe wants you to see where are you at? Are you going to fall for these traps, right? So are you going to basically, these are lessons and the universe wants to test you because remember, you only get as much as you're ready for, right? Right now, if you're not getting a knock on the door, dun, 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 hey, would you like to be the CEO of a company and make $10 million a year is because are you ready for that? Do you wake up at the same time as the CEO should? Are you going to take, give up your weekends? Are you going to go back to school, take a course? Are you going to dedicate, eat, live, breathe, you know, market data, for example? No, answer's probably like, I don't want to do that. Great, so let's find something you love and that you can make money from. I sell pet supplements on Amazon. I love dogs. I look at dogs with big smiles on their face that jump on couches and owners happy. I make money from bringing happiness to canines. This makes me happy. This is sustainable. If, I, if, my, if being a mechanic made me rich, I couldn't do it because I don't like engines, right? So right now, Source is telling you, you gotta ask yourself, what do you love? What are you passionate about? What would you do? All of these things come to you when you are in alignment in the present moment. So remember, your point of attraction now, right here in the present moment, is when you are lucky, when you're fortunate, when you're powerful. When you are not in the now, you are naked. Whenever you're in a familiar past, it's almost like you're walking around naked. Whenever you're in a predictable future, walking around naked. Whenever you're in the present moment, that's when you have your power, your point of attraction, and everything gets effortless for you. So right now, Source is letting you know, in order for you to really get to where you need to go, you have to let go of the outcome and really surrender to the process. The process is only controlling your energy. Understanding energy means your feelings. Feelings mean your vibration, right? And how you present yourself. I'll give you an example. When I am happy, I am, my shoulders are back, I'm smiling, my body language is approachable and likable. When I'm upset, I have this energy to me that's very standoffish, same thing as you. I promise you, no one at the coffee shop is trying to come up to me and be like, hey, how's your day, when I'm not feeling good, because you can just feel that vibration from me. So that's what's going on here, right? In order for you to be, you know, uh, directly or indirectly uh, uh, networking with others and be able to get opportunities, because that's really what you're looking for, you have to feel good. This is the only thing you have control over. And thank goodness, because trying to control the who, what, when, where, how gets very exhausting. But by trying to control your energy, it gets very easy. Eat right, wake up early, learn something, you're good to go. All right, now let's tap into your affirmation for today. This is how you get lucky. Write the following affirmation in the comment section. Write down, life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. This is so important, guys. Quantum entangle with this energy. Let source know you're ready. Life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. Take a screenshot of this, write this down in the comment section. Again, life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. What you're doing here is you're telling the universe, I know what this lesson is, I'm aware of this lesson, um, I learned it, and can you bring me a new one? Can I go get a promotion at work? Can I meet my soulmate? How about something new? Because I already know this lesson. Acknowledge this, life is a balancing act of holding on and letting go. The universe is not a mind reader, the universe is a feeling reader, right? Right now, let the universe know you are ready for abundance by letting go of, you know, old energy. All right, now final message from the universe. The message is, if they once loved you, they still do. You know the universe loves you. Now the message is, thanks for every single time you ever fell in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, or whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. You change the universe. You know the universe cracks jokes. This is a whole, this is a comedy you're part of. Right now, Source is telling you that you have learned so much. You collected so much data. It was experience. Everyone has their own things they're dealing with. If someone is not treating you or showing you the love that you truly deserve, it's only because they're not happy inside. Hurt people hurt people. They're dealing with their own ish. They probably ate some food that makes them feel bad. They probably have a bad home life. They probably had a childhood that was rife. They're probably not evolving at all. They probably don't even know what, what the word law of attraction is. So you gotta understand, it is not you, 
right? If you had parents that, that treated you poorly, look at who their parents were, right? If you had, you know, friends that, you know, stole from you, lied to you, ask yourself, what state of mind were they in to do this, right? So right now, don't judge them. Don't judge yourself. Only thing you can do is control your energy and let the abundance flow. All right, Aries, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.